The Department of Conservation is copping criticism for allowing cows to graze next to a popular kayaking and fishing spot in North Canterbury. RNZ News documented the cows right next to the Hudanui River, along with cow feces, which Doc warns has made the water potentially unsafe to drink. Maya Bari reports. The Department of Conservation allows 80 cattle within the Lake Sumner Forest Park as long as farmers fulfil certain conditions. That includes not letting them linger in the river where there's a greater chance of their faeces entering the water. Docks North Canterbury manager Kingsley Timpson says while he has yet to identify who the cows belong to, on this occasion it looks as if they were not being kept far enough away from the river. There's large sections of the river there where stock don't have access to the river because of natural barriers. There's cliffs and banks and so those areas are naturally protected. But where there's a crossing for stock to get from one side of the river to the other, that certainly is occurring in a few locations. But pretty much it's a temporary effect while the stock moves through that piece out onto the grazable lands. Kingsley Timpson acknowledges cows relieving themselves just upstream from Canterbury's number one spot for whitewater kayaking is not a good look. But he says the 80 cows are not having an adverse effect on native vegetation and as long as they are kept away from the Hurunui River should not contribute to any major degradation of the waterway. However, Kingsley Timpson admits monitoring is mostly confined to one visit to the area each year. We're certainly keen to hear reports from any members of the public if they think they've got concerns or if there's issues that they can see and uh, like to follow up on those. It's certainly one of the main means to uh, keep a track on it. Sam Milne runs one of the many kayaking schools and guided tours that use this part of the Hurunui. He's on the river four days a week in spring and says he sees cows in or near the river every second day. We have seen them standing in the river or even crossing the river or just standing on the bank or having a drink. So yeah, they're in the river as well as around the river. Sam Milne says the cow's impact is a major concern, especially given how important this stretch of river is to kayakers. Christchurch is one of one of our most active kayaking communities in New Zealand and the Hurunui River is the most popular run for kayakers in Christchurch. So it's our go-to spot really. Tony Hawker from the lobby group Fish and Game says increasing intensification in the high country is putting at risk fish stocks in rivers like the Hurunui. He says it's unbelievable Doc would allow cattle to graze there on the condition they don't linger in the river while crossing it. I find that quite ridiculous. I mean, unless you have fencing, you can't just rely on the cows not to, not to loiter in those wetter areas. So that just seems like a ridiculous condition to me and <laughs> pretty hard to enforce really. The agency in charge of ensuring stock don't pollute the region's rivers is the regional council, ECAN. However, when RNZ News first interviewed its manager in charge of investigations, Tanya Harris, she was unsure what exactly the rules were in regards to cattle and how close they were allowed to the river. I am not familiar with the exact rules. Um, I don't have them in front of me. I can certainly follow up on that, but, but at the moment I don't have that information in front of me. RNZ News gave Tanya Harris time to look up ECAN's rules and then called back, but she still appeared unsure about what the rules were. Cattle may cross the, the river. So they're not allowed to stay in it or...? They, no, stock in waterways. Yeah, as a general rule is not allowed, no. ECAN are now following up on the presence of cows near the river and will send an officer to the scene tomorrow to investigate what impact they have had on the area. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Maya Burry.